Hello everyone. Today we are stepping away from our usual deep dives into data, architecture and cloud computing. Instead, we are venturing into a realm that's just as critical to our work. Philosophy. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Philosophy? Isn't that for the Asian Greeks? And I we covered universities. Stick with me because today we are exploring how philosophical thinking can transform our approach to IT and maybe even make our code a little more elegant. Philosophy and IT, two worlds that seem miles apart, but let's break it down. Philosophy is about seeking wisdom, understanding the nature of reality, existence and knowledge. As IT professionals, we do something remarkably similar. We seek to understand data, build systems that mimic the complexities of the real world and create architectures that support vast networks of information. At its core, IT is a quest for understanding the world and making it efficient which is very similar to the philosophical pursuit of understanding the mind and the world to make it a better place. Take the Socratic method for example. Socrates believed in asking probing questions to stimulate critical thinking and to illuminate ideas. Sounds a lot like debugging, doesn't it? When we debug code, we are essentially asking a series of questions. Why isn't this working? What happens if I change this variable? How does this function interact with the data? By adopting a Socratic mindset, we can improve our problem-solving skills. Instead of rushing to fix the symptom, we dive deeper to understand the root cause. This approach not only makes us a better coder, but also more thoughtful architects of the systems we build. Next, let's consider René Descartes and his method of doubt, questioning everything until he reached something undeniably true. This method is better known as Cartesian doubt. In IT world, this can be applied to data integrity. We must continually question the accuracy and reliability of our data. Is it clean? Is it secure? Can we trust the sources? In a cloud environment where data flows across borders and systems, maintaining this Cartesian skepticism ensures that our decisions are based on solid, trustworthy information. It's about building a foundation on which reliable, meaningful analysis can stand. Then there is Friedrich Nietzsche who challenge the status quo and celebrated creativity and innovation. In IT, we leave Nietzsche's philosophy every day. Technology evolves rapidly and to keep pace, we must constantly innovate. Whether it's developing a new app, architecting a more efficient cloud solution, or finding new ways to analyze big data, we are pushing boundaries and questioning conventional wisdom. Nietzsche's ideas about striving to transcend human limitations mirror our quest for technological excellence. We aim to create systems that not only meet today's needs, but anticipate and shape the future. Finally, let's talk about Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who was also a Stoic philosopher. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to maintain tranquility in the face of adversity. In IT, failures are inevitable, servers crash, data is lost, systems are breached. But a Stoic mindset helps us remain resilient we plan for the disaster recovery, build redundancy into our systems and learn from our failure. By accepting that not everything will go as planned and preparing for the unexpected, we build more robust, resilient architectures. It's about turning obstacles into opportunities for growth. So the next time you are knee deep in code, wrestling with a stubborn bug or architecting a new cloud solution, remember, there's a bit of philosophy in everything we do. By embracing the wisdom of the great philosophers, we can enhance our problem-solving skills, innovate more effectively, and build systems that stand the test of time. In the world of IT, with change is constant and challenges are many, let's not just be coders and architects, let's be philosophers. Philosophers of the digital age, seeking not just to solve problems, but to understand and shape the future. If you found this video insightful, do share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious, stay data-driven.